been a vision coming for a long time. We really wanted to give our students an opportunity to experience learning in a simulated environment where they can make mistakes, talk to patients, whatever, but they are uh, in a protected environment. So to build their confidence before we send them on placement with real patients. It's really exciting that we've got a new ward where we can practice our clinical skills and we can get to put the things that we learn in the classroom into practice. It will be a more patient-centered approach. So in a few years, pharmacists can be prescribers. So having something like this will help pharmacy develop the prescribing skills they need to be able to deal when they go to hospitals or, or working in the community. Once you're comfortable in an environment, therefore you're more likely to make less mistakes, you're more likely to open up to patients easier, and it's that level of confidence it gives you. It gives that reassurance that, OK, everything will be fine, I've been in this environment before. I've been very, very impressed how realistic everything is, and I think the students are really lucky to be able to learn in this environment. If you are going to become a prescriber, you really needed diagnostic skills, clinical skills. You needed to be able to confidently talk to patients to understand their complaints and how we can manage them before you move on to just hand in you know, a prescription or promote hel healthy lifestyles with them. So we can't teach vaccination if we don't have those environments. We can't teach even a simple blood pressure measurement. So without those skills or those uh, uh, equipment that we have here, we wouldn't have been able to get our students to the level that they need to be. It will just speed up the learning experience for the students and enable them to have so much more confidence when they get into the real world of practice. I became aware of her when uh, she won the Pride of Britain award. And since then, I thought the nation has recognised a woman of colour. But more importantly, it re the nation recognised somebody for their contribution to the NHS and specifically for an ethnic minority disease, sickle cell disease. And I understand, you know, the importance for our students to have a representation that matches their demographics. And I think Dame Elizabeth and Yunwo typically shows them a real representation. So if you work hard, if you aspire, if you, you know, you will get you will get where where you need to be